This is the video that I wish I had when I was 18 years old trying to figure out what the hell I'm supposed to do with the rest of my life. I don't know why they expect us as 18 year olds to just have it figured out and to know exactly what you want to get into. After being a nurse for some time now, I would probably tell myself to do a few things differently. We're going to get to that later in the video. When I graduated high school, all I knew is that I loved sports, health, medicine, helping people. So I sort of naturally fell into the nursing route. I was like, yeah, I'll become a CRNA and make absolute bank. I'll marry a super athletic hot babe, have like 10 kids, have 20 dogs. Life would be golden. None of that really happened yet. Now nursing does have several pros to it. Decent pay, a lot of time off, and you do get to help people. But I really just didn't know what nursing was. So first, let's talk about what I thought it was. So I thought nursing was this. I thought nursing was health and medicine and of course helping humans. But hold on one second, here's what it really is. So what I've come to find out after years of nursing now is it's really this. It is customer service on steroids and it is also executing orders. So as a nurse, your job is to really make the patient happy and it's to also keep the family happy, also the doctors. And everyone running you know, your, your clinic, in my case, urgent care, a hospital, you are there to make everybody happy, and that's not an easy job. And also, you're never gonna make everybody happy, but that's besides the point. The other thing is executing orders. The doctor is gonna see the patient, they're gonna do some workup, and they are gonna hand you the orders, you fill them out. Examples are EKG, running lab work, x-rays. In the hospital, it's you know giving the meds on time, doing wound care. You are executing orders in a timely fashion. Simply, that is the job of nursing. Obviously, there's a lot more to it. There's a lot more nuance. The nurses also are the first line assessment. They're the first ones to notice when things go wrong. But at its core, we are customer service and executing orders. So let me back up a bit. Let's talk about personality type. So I am a Myers-Briggs ENFJ protagonist. And this sentence really resonates with me. Listen, few things bring people with the ENFJ personality type a deeper sense of joy and fulfillment than guiding friends and loved ones to grow into their best selves. That sentence alone just describes the entirety of what I want to do with my life. I want to guide people to grow and be the best versions of themselves. And that is what brings me happiness. It's literally like a selfish reward. Like I am happy doing that. That's what brings me joy. Now, as a nurse, just providing customer service and executing orders, it doesn't really scratch that itch. It doesn't quite get there. Now, there are several things that are in my control as a nurse that can bring me joy, where I can help people. There's like a certain point where it just doesn't get that done. So here's what I think I'm sort of lacking in this role that is not making me 100% fulfilled. So the first part here is medical knowledge. Now in nursing school, we are jam packed with medical information. We do learn a lot about medicine. It's very broad, it's not very detailed, and there's some things that are sort of skipped over, some things can be very vague, and it's just the nature of trying to get everything slammed into four years. Another thing is how nursing is taught versus how you know, medical school or a doctor is taught is very different. Nursing is this broad, holistic thing. We do a lot of leadership courses. I do think we should always view a person holistically. What I feel like I'm sort of missing is that expertise and medical knowledge that I want. As an urgent care nurse for some years now, I feel like I do have you know quite a bit of medical knowledge. I can have a patient come in and you know 80% of the time I already know what the diagnosis is and I already know what the provider is going to order. You know, but that's just due to experience and commonalities that I see. Like this is just repeating things that happen over and over. There is those 20% of cases where I really don't know what the hell's going on, but I want to know. I want more medical knowledge. I want to understand what is going on with that patient and I want to fix them. Which brings me to this second point here, which is, see that? Diagnostics. I want to be the one to solve the case. I want to figure out the differentials. You know, what would solve this patient? What would make their lives better? What can I do to help them perform better and have a better life? I want to figure out those diagnostics. And to be honest, I don't want to be the one executing them. I just want to figure out what's going on. I want to be the case solver. That's different from the nurse. We don't solve the case. We can help assess and help the, the doctor figure out what's going on, but we're not the one that's ultimately solving the case. So my sense of wanting to know more about the human body, more about health, and also wanting to be the case solver. I want to do the diagnostics. I want to figure this out. This brings me down 
couple potential routes. Nurse practitioner, which is a logical thing to do when you're a nurse for many years. I don't think you should be a nurse practitioner right away, but after some years of experience. Or the less logical thing, but something that I consider is actually going to med school and becoming a doctor. Now this is pretty illogical because I'm already practicing for some years. I would sort of give up a lot of free time. As simple as it may seem, it's not a very easy decision. It's not easy at all. So I'm going to do a vlog here coming up more about why this decision is so difficult. So stay tuned for that. It's just not as easy of a choice as it seems, although it seems very logical just to choose MP. I also want to share something that I think is going to come across as a little bit vain or selfish, but I just think it's important to share because this is ultimately a video that I want to share with my 18 year old self, right? This is kind of just for me speaking to younger me. Sometimes I feel like being a nurse isn't enough. Hey, I'm Jay. I'm a registered nurse. There's something about that that's just, it just feels a little embarrassing or something. And it shouldn't. It shouldn't at all. It shouldn't at all. But this might come back to me as in my personality type, right? I think nursing is an amazing career for many, many people. But again, this video is for me, my younger self. And it might help somebody else who might be similar to me. I think I just sort of crave the, the respect that comes with the doctor title that they have earned through many extra hours of studying and hard work, but they know the body and they know things way more. They put in that work. They earn that title. I do realize this sounds sort of bad. I don't mean to put down nursing at all because it is a hard profession. Nurses are extremely intelligent. I think some of the most intuitive people ever because they can judge what's happening. They can figure out what's going on. And they're also so creative. Nurses are some of the most creative profession there is. They figure out how to solve problems that are almost unsolvable at times, but it's just amazing what nurses can do. But again, this is for my 18 year old self. I don't know. Counseling my 18 year old self, I would say go pre-med. I don't know why I never thought about being a doctor as an 18 year old. I just, I didn't come from very much money at all. So maybe that's why I didn't really, you know, think about becoming a doctor. But if I could go back, I would probably go pre-med and then go to med school, become a doctor. Now this is all in hindsight. So would this really be best for me? Who knows? Who freaking knows? Nobody has life figured out. And if any expert tries to tell you they have all the answers in life, they're wrong. Everybody is living life on a whim. They don't know what the hell they're doing. This is everybody's first go at life. Even your parents, nobody knows what the hell is the right thing to do. So don't let anyone tell you different. Just the way that my brain works, the way I like helping people, the doctor role is better suited for me. So if you're considering nursing, here's a few things. First, you need to shadow. You need to shadow a registered nurse in their job. Also need to shadow a doctor. Try to shadow multiple different things. At least talk to a nurse and talk to a doctor. At least do that. I didn't do that. I was a CNA in high school, which this is going to be a hot take, but I don't think you need to be a CNA before becoming a nurse or a doctor. I also want to caution you, don't think about things too much. Analysis paralysis is just going to ruin you. So don't overthink it. Just try to uncover what type of personality you are. Do your research on the roles. I just didn't understand the role quite enough, I think. Also, look out. There's someone knocking at your door, I think. 